Hi, my name is Jess Meldrum from Keymetrics and welcome to today's episode of Two Minute Tuesdays. In today's episode, we're going to create an additional forecast version. This is the second episode in our forecast for reporting mini series. So if you haven't watched part one, I suggest going back to watch the previous video first. Now that we have our March FY21 forecast version created, let's create an April forecast version. Each month, a new forecast version should be created to overlay with the prior month actuals. Whilst we could update the existing version to cater for this change, it would mean that we have no historic views of previous forecast versions. Instead, it's best practice to create a new version. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my March forecast version and select create a new plan version. This time I'm going to call it April FY21 forecast. In the start of the plan property, I'm going to change the date to the 1st of April. I'm going to leave the end of plan to the entire year of FY21. This is going to overlay the dates prior to the 1st of April with actuals. I'm going to select save. Now I have my two forecast versions, March and April. I now need to update my report to remove the March forecast and add in the April forecast. This can become quite tedious, particularly if you have numerous reports with forecast references. Instead, we can create a virtual version which can be used for reporting purposes. Tune in for the next episode which we will demonstrate how to create a virtual version. That's it for today's episode. As always, if you'd like to know more details or get further assistance, please reach out. Thanks and bye for now.